uh, probably few things i will share and then few things we we can discuss um so let me ask you as a leader when you think about the church what comes to your mind sabai pati yosikkum bodhu manasla enna varudhu i'm not sure how to say it in kannada okay so everybody is fine with english no problem tamil ah okay i will try to be english so okay church is a community okay i like that body of christ okay uh what else when you think about church what comes to your mind love of christ okay obviously um church is formed on the love of christ i'm sorry christ is the head amen okay okay church is in hospital <laughs> yeah so church is the hospital okay i like that i mean I, yeah that's partly true church is like a so what i want to think about is is how you i like writing i'm enjoying this okay <laughs> blackboard how you view the church okay so we, we we we're going to because we 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 need it's important right how do we view the church okay secondly how you view yourself and thirdly how you view leadership okay so to some extent we will try to wrestle these three questions right how do you view the church how do you view yourself and how do you view leadership okay because you are part of something you are something and you have something to offer right nam or 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 periya or karyathila or angama irukrom adhe nerathila nam or thani nabara irukrom right adhe nerathila nam seiya vendiya or uliyam irukku we have something to accomplish okay so though we can look at lot of scriptures but i just wanted to wrestle through one passage today probably two passages romans 12 3 to 8 somebody can read that Romans 12:3 to 8 Somebody there feel free to read Okay so here uh, obviously Paul is writing to the church in Rome and uh, basically it is an book of Romans is an fascinating thesis on salvation but in the in the middle of all that adik nadula romer 12th adhigaram 3rd and 8th roman chapter 12 verse 3 to 8 anybody yes sister anybody okay yes. for by the grace given me i say to every one of you do not think of yourself more highly than you are but rather rather than rather think of yourself with the ஒன்பதுக்குரியாசிங் then prophesy in accordance with your faith if it is serving then serve if it is teaching then teach if it is to encourage then 
give encouragement. If it is given, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Okay. So in verse 3, Paul says, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. So when, when you read this particular scripture, what is Paul encouraging us to do? I mean, it's a, it is a classroom, so I think we, we need to have a little conversation back and forth. Do not consider higher than others in heaven. Okay. As I know better. I know better. Okay. First of all, we need to first ourselves to think uh, that we are uh, nothing and uh, we are like down to earth kind of. Uh, okay. Should we think of ourselves as nothing? He says, do not think of yourself more highly than you out. Okay, because let's say in the scale of 1 to 10, if I am an 3, then I should think of me like 3. If I am an 3 and then I think of myself as 7, then that is thinking too highly of myself, right? We don't to think go high or low, but we have to be have a careful view of ourselves. Right? And uh, so I would I would use the word do not compare. This is a big problem in leadership. Big problem everywhere. Do you compare yourself with others? All the time. Right? It's like a chronic disease. Okay, when you come to church also, we're looking, oh, that guy is, oh, I'm smarter than, oh, this guy is more smarter than me. <laughs> right? So, oh, that, so we, I mean, we need to know, we have this problem of comparing, but instead of comparing, he's saying, have a realistic view of self. He is saying, know where you are. Right? Right? So, uh, and what should influence our view about ourselves according to the scripture? I'm sorry? Okay, we'll get to that. But but the verse um, 3, we're still stuck in verse 3. In accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. This is an interesting phrase. So, so in a sense, we are sitting in this room, probably it might be 30 people here, I don't know how many are here, 20, whatever. Right? We all have faith in Christ, but there is a special measure of faith that is given to there is a special measure of faith that is given to different people in this group. Okay, so, uh, you know, for example, so, so I cannot compare, I can be inspired by you, but I cannot compare myself with you. For example, let's say, I'm just giving an example. Okay, right, so, um, let's say, um, I'll take Varki because we can always argue later. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm just giving an example, okay? No pressure, okay? So, Varki decides to sell his house 
and give the money to the church okay i need having trouble now okay <laughs> it's just an example just imagine imaginations are powerful okay right so he's going to sell this house now why is he selling his house and giving the money to the church because of the measure of faith god has given him if i don't have that faith i shouldn't do that you you remember the ananya safariya situation yes. they didn't have the heart but they still they wanted to do something which was not in their heart so the whole idea is that we all have different measure of faith and we we should avoid comparing have a realistic view of self according to the faith that god has given you okay so this is so personal very personal then i will ask the question to each one of you in your group you need to go back and ask yourself what is that what is that god has proportion of faith that god has given me okay so because this is going to have a huge implication on how you view your i cannot do what joseph is doing i cannot do what strikant is doing i can't do what the single guys are doing some of you doing but i have have to do what god has called me to do according to the faith that he has given me enak kudukapatta viswasathin adipadayil naan seivende kaaryangala saying okay we'll stop there now verse 4 and 5 just as each of us have one body with many members and these members do not all have the same function so in christ we who are many form one body and each member belongs to all the others yen arthait what do we get from this now from a personal view paul is moving to the church view so according to this scripture how does paul view the church yeah this is the most famous illustration of the church all over the scriptures i told bobby you know when i go for uh, when i was writing exam na when i was kid i had a big confusion between b and d <laughs> so on top of my pad i will have b d i will write here b d you guys you realize this whenever i have confusion i'll be this was done by my mom she was creative she was a teacher so if, so she will write on top of me because many spelling mistake will be go written sort of b i will written d nowadays there is some disease for that right dancing whatever that is okay let's not go there okay how you view the church the most important view is body okay and again and again you see this illustration coming up church is a body okay so in fact paul is using you as an illustration say hey you are a body but you have many parts the same way the church has many parts but it is one body right one day sharira it's one body ore shariram okay right so church is very dynamically different from many organizations we work with you all work in organization but i would even argue church is has its own how do you spell organism yes you am yes sir am i right i just don't want to write something else okay okay so church has a life in itself 
okay now why am i saying this sometimes we look at church as a hospital not bad i have used the illustration right so we are looking only for sick people kind of a stuff right there is some truth in that church is not an organization it is an organism that means i want to change the view you are not a you are not a what do you say you are not a company right you cannot run your body like a company okay munadi enna pathina ungalku oru edunal noy varudhu nu vaangu why you get sickness virus innikku vara mukkavasi noyikku veliya irundhu vara virus kediyadu லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் இஷ்யூஸ் ரைட் நீங்க ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் போய் பாருங்க வைரஸ்னால உட்கார்ந்து இருக்கிற ஒரு பத்து பர்சன்ட் தான் இருப்பாங்க தொண்ணூறு பர்சன்ட் டயபெட்டிஸ் டென்ஷன் அதனால வர பிளா 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 ஒன் வைரஸ் ஹிட்ஸ் மீ ஐ டோன்ட் பிகம் சிக் தட் வைரஸ் ஓகே ஒன் வைரஸ் ஹிட்ஸ் ஹர் ஷி டசன் பிகம் சிக் த சேம் வைரஸ் ஹிட்ஸ் மீ ஐ பிகம் சிக் so the problem is not the virus it is my condition okay so now i think medical field also evolving to think that if you have hyper i mean you have diabetes only giving medicine for diabetes is not important ask you are you in stress because your your emotional life hurts your body if you are very angry either you will get very hungry or you don't get right so so we are so body you cannot treat it like a robo that's why i don't believe ai can become like humans you can get somewhere but not really because we are very interconnected so i want to take that example and make you understand the church is like a body right i wrote something i forgot okay Hey, where is other paper? You can see I am very confused. Just now I had a paper here. Did you take it? No, okay. Just a minute. Now everybody is looking for my paper. Where did it go? Wow, it disappeared. Okay. So... then we have this body you have self <laughs> anyway i think i remember what i wrote i bet okay so uh um church is a body so we need to have how do you we myself how do i lose my connections now we'll come oh again oh somebody was saying i didn't watch anything amazing huh? all my weaknesses are coming out okay so that's interesting when you come to sc- classroom setup <laughs> see i'm a connected being <laughs> Okay so the idea is um when you work with mission you give input it will give output when you come to a body you can give a input you're not sure what will be the output you cannot define it like a mission can you in the room like ella perku we do some kind of education how each of you will respond will be very different okay right so in so when we think about church this is one way of thinking this is another way of thinking Okay 
forgive me if i using some words which are on left over chalk piece okay no problem this we call as a linear thinking and this is we call as a system thinking okay because our body is a system we have nervous system what else system we have muscular system respiratory, respiratory system sorry digestive system then we have uh, neuro systems now for a body to function well all these systems has to coordinate okay right for example uh, in, in i mean why am i saying this because sometimes we feel like for example joseph okay when i am talking to joseph i can say okay i hate you joseph example okay <laughs> i say i hate you joseph and i can say it and go away if i am thinking linear i will say what i said will disappear and go away it's like me kicking the table what the table will do right so sometimes we we look at people and we think it's one way right like talking to the table you're a useless chair chair will not do anything but what when i say you are example joseph you are useless if i'm thinking like this and feel like this will just go away it will not go away what you say to joseph will come back to you if i think if i kick a table no problem if i kick a dog <laughs> either the dog might run the dog might bite some creative dog might do something creative so when you so you when you kick a dog you rem, you realize that it has a feedback to you you getting what i'm saying i don't want to confuse you guys so we church is a system okay and and so because we have to understand this because we got to be very careful how we we operate as leaders okay so i cannot tell joseph you are useless okay i need to i need to be more responsible in the way i'm communicating with joseph i could say joseph you know what today you are supposed to do the welcome you are supposed to come by 9:45 but you came by 10:05 by the time the welcome is over that is not very helpful right and find out why you became late right so we are having communication why because i want to be careful because how joseph takes it is going to make a big difference okay so so you understand the difference between linear thinking and system thinking so that's why lot of ceo achieve great things in their company but they cannot get along with their wife have you seen that situations lot of uh, big ceos they can accomplish lot in the office he, he can tell a guy say you are a useless job fire him put another guy in the place or somebody will say useless that guy will you cannot have share emotions in office i'm not sure i'm cut off from office life right unachikala ne pound pan mudiyuma thella right so he will suck it he will say anyway i'm company is giving me salary so anyway i will go church doesn't work like that okay we cannot throw people out of the church and i mean you can we have done it but which has not really helped or you run away from the church why because they feel they think differently okay so when we start thinking like this then that calls each of us to be responsible 
and be responsible how i talk to jews right so i need to be responsible and i need to be i need to be responsible how i interact with another member you getting what i'm saying so so that's what paul is saying i'm co- connecting to this whole body analogy and paul is saying that you have to look at yourself as an individual and look at verse um, verse 5 can somebody read again please who right so in some way you all belong to me in some way i belong to you not that we are each other's property so that that he is talking about we have a connection with everybody there is a belonging our whole body is connected whole system is connected right and they work with it at the same time you are a self ninga or thani nabara irkinga adhe nerathile indha udal angathile ninga what is your for connection connection amen right so you are connected you are connected i'm sorry this word connects connect ella connect aichu okay so todarbu connection means todarbu right nam todarbu liye irukrom angamavum irukrom right so so how do you view the church you have to look at the church as a body why now i was we had some conversation many people think church is a holy place nele yosthirukama church la sande varuma church la prachana varuma you supposed to be a place we all are hey ipo inga abhiprayam illa maarichu bro ninga adala right this confuses people okay right we are as somebody said we are a community and there will be issues but the only difference in the church is are we going to get matured in handling it in a godly way so when i say the word church fight what comes to your mind Oh. We call church fight. You feel like this both both these words don't connect. But is this a reality? Romba yos kiringa. Is it a reality? Hey, if you read in new testament you know corinth church was fighting they even told paul you are not my leader get out don't come to our church paul is fighting no i am your leader <laughs> right you are not getting healthy i mean anyway we are not going to go into that but i want you to understand that like any body the body gets sick the body can be healthy okay so so all i'm trying to under, uh, uh, encourage as leaders is to have a healthy understanding of the church okay sometimes we have idealistic view of the church we don't have a realistic view okay this idealistic view is what we call as honeymoon period right kalyana ana odane sunday varad right they'll be like so lovey dovey or moon mast ella some matured brothers and sisters seri seri odu odu varalam enjoy enjoy nowadays nowadays second day only they are having fight okay otherwise they call honeymoon period because you are not realistic the unma enna kettingna sabaikullaga prachanegal irukkum let's agree that the issue is not the problem the issue is how are we dealing with the problem okay otherwise what will happen you nam thalaivarga enna pannu nam ariyamila da irukom we live in denial we should not have any fights no there will be fights not say we are looking for fights because we come in with our own sinful nature and people are in different places but our goal is how are we going to be 
healthy so to be healthy or to be contributing leaders i think we're going to learn many things in days to come the whole idea is a healthy view of self a healthy view of church a healthy view of leadership is critical that's all i'm saying நீங்க எப்படி உங்களை பார்க்குறீங்க நீங்க எப்படி சபையா பார்க்குறீங்க நீங்க எப்படி தலைவத்துவத்தை பார்க்குறீங்கன்றது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ரைட் த மோர் ஹெல்தி பிபிளிக்கல் வியூ வி ஹாவ் தென் வி கேன் ஒர்க் அவுட் மெனி திங்ஸ் ஆஸ் வி மூவ் ஃபார்வர்ட் ஓகே ரைட் ஸோ சம் பீப்புள் இந்த கேப்பே கிடையாது So today some brothers who are talking to me I always tell church is only a support system No what is a support system Do you think I am a support system to Julie Pretty guesty. Yeah, he said no. He is very clear. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say? I'm asking or talking. Can I say I'm a support system to Julie? Some of you are thinking, what is the right answer? Yes. <laughs> So I am a support system to Julie I am a support system to Joseph I love Joseph the way I love Julie no. I love Julie as I love Joseph Will that work? No That transfer back to Chennai <laughs> 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 Why is that? No, you are not a support system Yeah, because the Bible says we are one body The one person on this planet With whom I have a high level of commitment Is my wife not even my mummy nobody else in the planet right i have a high level of commitment to my wife i can't be a support system for my wife in fact i need to feel responsible for my wife so i am responsible for julie in our marriage but i am a support system for joseph okay why am i saying this as leaders we are not responsible for the marriages in your ministry you are not responsible for the teenage we have at least conveyed that right sometimes one couple is fighting in your ministry na you cannot sleep unless they have a good marriage i'm not sure how how many nights you will not sleep so what happens we go there and we somehow when they both happy then we are happy right and and that is what we call that we get how do you spell fusion w will come yes yes double s double s double s sir no h will not come there are a lot of teachers here they are like what in the world you are doing up there okay <laughs> Okay so if you're not careful you can get into a fusion the other extreme of fusion is cut off okay that means either i become responsible overly responsible for you or i have nothing to do with you okay and and our goal is not to go or cut off but our goal is to stay connected i don't know i don't write it okay so the whole idea is okay we'll finish it here So the whole idea is you are responsible for yourself 
you are responsive to others ungalukku neenga porupali veravangalukku be responsive that means be an support system be responsive okay now i cannot make sure these two single brothers are doing well spiritually do i can do that now who is responsible for their spiritual life who is responsible for their spiritual life suddenly they feeling the burden right now <laughs> if they are not doing well spiritually who is responsible avanga aavikuriya vaalkil nalla illana yaar poru panikireenga see we say that but sometimes we feel like but the leader didn't do a good job the family group is not doing a good job you know everybody they don't we don't say they are not doing a good job but as a leader i'm not saying don't I, as a leader i i can spend time with them pray with them once in a while but my goal is not to communicate with say hey bro i am responsible for his spiritually no 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 my goal is to i need to become responsible i need to help this brothers to become responsible for their spiritual life Are you getting what i'm saying right and then and that is where your leadership comes in that you don't take responsibility for your ministry you make your ministry responsible ministry you understand the difference you are able to get the difference right so ungukella anju per irukana bro and anju per spiritual ah irukiradhu ennude porupu no it's not possible and many people have tried that they got burnt out discouraged and stop being leaders illana onna enniye na abbe i'll give as a sacrifice otherwise i don't want to do ministry no that's not the point right you have to be responsible and be responsive to your people do your best okay and for example one couple is calling you 10 o'clock in the night i don't know single call that time okay anyway a couple calls and they say they are having a marriage fight okay Mar- raju is newly married okay they are calling raju and saying we are having a marriage fight raju i want you to come to my house right now and help us in a marriage what can we do what ane ning kelambi enga veetukku vaanga yen pondaati na solradhu kekkave maatendraanga i want you to come night now and help us with a marriage what raju will say enna pannalam sorry not in the station not in the station yeah you are <laughs> joseph solrare i am not in station bro varamudiyadu so the idea is if you feel if you feel overly responsible what you will do apdiye pant potu kalambu kaiye kalvi okay let's go a, a couple is hurting right dinner out ella uttadu oda unga veeduku right avanga jaliya ukkan so that is one extreme feeling overly responsible the another extreme is you can take the call and say என்னை ஏன் போய் கூப்பிடுறீங்க இன்னொரு தலைவர் இருக்காரு பார்த்தீங்களா அவரை கூப்பிடுறீங்க காலிங் மீ கால் வரிக்கி ஓகே சோ சோ வி பாஸ் ஆன் த பக் டு சம்படி ஆல்ஸ் ஓகே பீங் ரெஸ்பான்சிவ் மீன்ஸ் யூ கோட் இன் வாட் போத் ஆஃப் யூ ஸ்டாப் ஃபைடிங் go separately pray for few minutes go to sleep <laughs> we will talk tomorrow this is not uh, some you know accident where we have to go immediately those are some situations where yeah we have to go respond immediately okay so what you are doing your goal is what are you, when when you counseling a marriage couple your job is not to solve the problem 
your job is to make them feel responsible for their marriage when we are spending time with a brother our goal is not to solve all his problems help that brother and sister to sister to become more responsible porpulla makkalaga maara vendum pa sabaila more people become responsible the church will become mature okay and that is the goal of leadership the goal of leadership is not going around solving people's problem the goal of leadership is equipping people to take care of their own problems making them feel more responsible we don't make them dependent on us the we help them to be learn to solve their own problems and get better so i would say leadership is a resource resource did i get it right okay leadership is not a title pattam kedaya anni oru naal oru brother vandha enna sonna bro ungalku oru pudhu padavi kuduthirukkaran right na sonna idu padavi illa sagodha idu enak kudukapatta poruppu right sometimes we think leadership is a title now i have more control over my group right so it is not authority talavathum enbadu authority nu solluvinga tamil la adhigaram kediyadu பட்டம் கிடையாது அதான் கடவுளா அவங்களுக்கு கொடுக்கப்பட்ட ஒரு பொறுப்பு ரைட் தட் மீன்ஸ் யூ ஆர் அ ரிசோர்ஸ் தட் கேன் பி யூஸ் ஃபார் த குளோரி ஆஃப் காட் தட்ஸ் அ பாடம் லைன் தட்ஸ் லீடர்ஷிப் யூ ஆர் அ ரிசோர்ஸ் ஐ எம் அ ரிசோர்ஸ் யூ ஆர் அ ரிசோர்ஸ் ரைட் லீடர்ஷிப் இட் செல்ஃப் இஸ் அ ரிசோர்ஸ் ரைட் அது வந்து இந்த சபையோடைய முதிர்ச்சிக்காக பயன்படுத்தக்கூடிய ஒரு or karivi right it, it has a role to play in the landscape okay so we will stop here so the first thing that uh, you know you have to view the church as a system have system thinking okay or kaalathula sonnaanga andha oorla or prachana ana nammalku enna avapodu the european europe some countries said we are not cutting any trees but other other countries you cut your tree nothing will happen is that true what mess we do in india will have the consequence in why because the whole world is one system i have to show some amount of care to everybody so i want to think as a system not just think about myself no think about the system look at the church as a body okay and so what i do what everybody does matters ad apdi kaathula po podukida right it will going to come back to us okay so that calls us when whenever we work with a system for example body is a system it if i want to have a good system i need to be healthy healthy to be healthy i need to be responsible i keep on putting lot of food into my system and then expect my system to be healthy it will work no that means i am getting more responsible right and somebody you know is unhealthy i have to help him hey bro you got to get healthy you got to get responsible okay right so the whole idea is if i just my eating i'm going to hurt my body right uh, some brothers i'm talking they they they're not sleeping enough sariya thoongiradhu kediya sariya thoongla enna nenikireenga or brother steady ku vandaru avara paathona ketta evlo na thoonginga appdi i slept only 4 hours yesterday i said please go and sleep i'm not going to study with you because my study is not going to have any influence on you because your body will shut down you are irritated right if everybody needs enough sleep okay so so see when you start looking like that we will stop avoiding unhealthy practices that is in the past as a church we have enna panalum nalla illa 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 we have to be healthy what i say matters how do i do matters how do i view matters ena ellarume comes back to me 
okay how i treat my wife matters right what i say matters so i want to think system the leadership not like this okay and have a realistic view of yourself and and i think i just want you to have this idea in your mind that how are you going to operate in this zone where i am going to be responsible for myself and i am going to be responsive to i am not responsible for others but i have to do my part okay so not that you're not going to feel the pressure but you're not going to feel the pressure as much as you feel responsible because sometimes you feel like bro nari peri i know a lot of people don't want to lead a group you know the why they don't want to lead a group pressure pressure and the ministry nalla pannalana ena kelu kepinga and the ministry la baptize illana ena kelu kepinga right so in the past we have done this mistake that we made the family group leader as the savior of the ministry he is not the savior of the ministry we, we cannot do that right he can be he has some resource and he can use this resource to help his group to become more healthy he will fail he needs more help so you know what is happening in sometimes family group leaders they want all nice people in their family group have you seen that bro avar en group la vaana bro prashna pandra var bro dayu seed avar enga group la podadinga anda couple ayyo epa pathaala avanga marriage problem avanga ye minister la pottu yaar avanga gavanikirudu see suddenly we feel like we have to fix everybody we are responsible for everybody then leadership is a burden so what is the i want to leave the i want to i'll we'll stop here in a few minutes because I'm, i can keep talking that's part of my problem okay so the idea is the biggest challenge for this group is you being responsible for yourself ungalukku neenga porupu be responsible okay when people are not responsible they say things they do things which are unhealthy you just give into your emotions and feelings and you say something do something and then it it comes back and it it makes things very unhealthy if i put a person who is not feeling very responsible about themselves into a family group that family group is going to be in trouble okay there's going to be a lot of blaming complaining all kind of things going on so the biggest challenge i would say is feel responsible for yourself and how you going to help how are you going to be responsive in a healthy way amen so how you view the church how you view yourself and how you view leadership then you look at yourself as a resource i'm available as a resource i'm going to do my best god is in control and others are going to support me together we will do great i don't need to prove anything to anybody right i'm healthy you are healthy when the whole system becomes healthy the system grows body grows right body flourishes amen so we will stop here any questions any thoughts any disagreements